Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned Map Editor tutorial, I'm going to be covering how to get an insane size map and along with that I'm going to be going over how to unlock maps in general because you actually need to know how to unlock a map in order to use and create your own insane size map. So to start us off, we're actually going to be using the Unturned Workshop for most of this. One of the things that you have to do in order to get an insane size map, since it's not a currently uh, official map size that you can create, is you have to grab a template. So something that's actually really good is if you just go to the uh, Steam Unturned Workshop, if you search up insane map or um, insane map size or insane map template or something you should be able to find this one It's by Groudon Ramsey and pretty much what you're gonna want to do to start this is just subscribe to this and download this insane size map now this map doesn't really have much happening in it it's pretty much just an island and I'll show you it at the end of the video so once you actually have this installed what you're gonna need to do is find where it downloaded in your files so we're gonna be looking inside the unturned files themselves as you guys can see this is my unturned folder and this is the best place to start so once you're at this location what you're gonna have to do is go up or back a couple times so you can see the workshop folder once you get into the workshop folder you're gonna go into there and then content and then in this numbered folder and then you're gonna be looking for uh, the insane size map in one of these. Now you may see multiple numbered folders here. You're gonna have to experiment and figure out which one is actually for your unturned game. But once you get in here, you're gonna have to also find the insane size template. So I would copy this and then head back to your original unturned folder. And then once you're in the unturned folder, all you have to do is drop the copied map into your normal map location. All right, so once we have the map in here, we can look inside it. You can see it's pretty basic. There's not much to it right now. Um, and of course, as you make your map, you'll add to that. Something that you'll also notice is if you go into game, you actually won't be able to open this map for editing. You will only be able to play this map, and that's because it's missing the unlocker. All right, so once we're in game, as you guys can see, if I go to the workshop in the editor, um, I can't actually see the insane size map template here, but I can tell that it's in my map folders because if I go to miscellaneous, you see it right here. And this is because, as mentioned before, I don't have an unlocker for it. There's something I want to mention real quickly before I go over how to actually create an unlocker, and that is that you don't misuse this. Now just because you're able to unlock and edit other people's maps using this method doesn't mean you should steal other people's maps or re-upload them under your name. This is actually illegal in some cases. Um, it's a stealing of intellectual property and you just need to make sure that you respect other people's maps and don't try to make your own versions and take credit for making the map in the first place. So with that out of the way I'm just gonna trust that you guys are gonna use this responsibly and of course this is a really good tool for seeing how things are done in other people's maps. So it's definitely something that you should know how to do as a map maker. So to start off with the unlocker all you're gonna have to do is go into the map file itself. Uh, you can rename this perhaps if you want it doesn't really matter but go into the folder and then all you're gonna have to do is create a new text document. What you're gonna need to name this is unlocker. And really, you'll see how this works in just a second. So we've got it open here, and all I'm gonna do is add one letter and then save it. I don't think you really need much else besides that. And then you're gonna go to save as. So next you're gonna go to text document at the bottom and go to all files and then you're gonna put a dot at the very front and then save it as that. Now as you guys should see, when we save it as that new type of file, you see it show up here as a dot unlocker file. Once we're done with this, we can get rid of the original text file and at this point, the map should be unlocked. Now in terms of why this actually works, I couldn't tell you. It's obviously something that's coded into Unturned itself and it, this might change in the future, so if this suddenly stops working for you, it's possible that Nelson put out a patch to disable this, so at that point, I'm may have to make an update video or something like that. Now as you guys can see when I get into the editor you can see that this map shows up now and I can now edit the insane size map. Now of course if I was going to make my own map out of this I would have renamed it. Pretty much it gives you a good template of where to start when making an insane size map. Now if you are having lag issues or glitchiness issues uh, while editing this map as you guys can see those outer chunks have not loaded in. Um, that's probably because it's just so large and Unturned really wasn't meant to run a map this large so just beware of that. Um, I also have done some testing and the insane size maps do work in the dev kit. If you want to use dev kit tools on it, it should work for you as well. So as you guys can see, you can pretty much just edit over all of this and you know, start from scratch. So anyway guys, hopefully that gives you a good idea of how to actually get an insane size map if you're into that. Also, hopefully you'll understand how the unlocker works, and please use it responsibly. Don't be stealing other people's maps. It's just not cool. 
Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all later.